What's that they say in football? A win's a win. And this one was a win for the Bulls. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Norfolk, Virginia. I'm Voice of the Bulls, Paul Peck, with Bulls Radio color analyst Scott Wilson. 35-34. The Bulls get their second win. Uh, it, it was nuts. It was crazy. There was so much good in the first half, not so good in the second. But as Mo Lingua said after the game, they're not all pretty, but you want them to all be wins. You only need to win by one point. And that's what happened here today. The first half was brilliant getting scores on offense defense and special teams they were able to move the ball really consistently there in the first half Keon Williams first time in his career going over 100 yards just in the first half alone like they got in their heads a little bit there at halftime a little confident and credit to Old Dominion for not giving up and keeping this one close but you fight all the way to the end and a road win is a road win now as we head into Mac play right where kind of Hope to be at two and two. Yeah, I think that's where everybody you always want to be as a MAC team two and two after your non-conference schedule, and the Bulls will dive literally right into MAC play against what might be the best team in the MAC right now, and that's Western Michigan on Saturday. Yeah, get rid of whatever was going on there in the second half. Take the confidence from the first from this one, and going against a really tough Western Michigan team. Luckily, you get them at home. Caleb Ellaby, the guy to watch for Western Michigan, their quarterback, has gotten off to a really fast start. They beat Pittsburgh a couple of weeks ago, so they're going to be flying high. But this is a huge matchup early in the season for both teams to kind of get that edge in Mac play as we start to march now towards Detroit. Yep, it's going to be a noon start Saturday at UB Stadium as the Bulls open Mid-American Conference play against the Broncos of Western Michigan following this one-point victory here in Virginia.